Hi, we're here again with Art Angels at Worthing High School. And um, we are here for the summer workshop series. The whole purpose of us being here is to be able to actually bridge the gap and let students understand that the art experience and creative experience can actually help us with coping mechanisms in life. So we're here with a student by the name of Quintus. Mm -hmm. And tell us what your classification is here. You graduate? I graduated um, about two years ago, 2010 is my class. And um, I actually work here as one of the providers here for 21st Century. So basically, I'm a dance choreographer. Very nice, very nice. So you understand art in this element as it relates to cre the creative process and how that helps. Yes. Tell us if you were able to, along with Ms. Ferguson, you were able to actually experience the workshop um, where we did self-portraits, so what we call the uh, face-to-face 2D. Mm -hmm. So knowing that uh, you have a little bit of an art background and creative mindset, how did it feel to do this workshop, to experience it? It actually felt really great. It was a big stress reliever for me. And um, it was just a way of me getting out who I am on the canvas. So I was a able to express myself and my characteristics through color and paint and just really just go to the grounds of really who I am. Cool, cool. Well, how do you feel that the creative process impacts students? Because you were a student here not long ago. You work with them now. How do you feel that that experience that you, that you, um, that you had with this painting, much less the dance that you do, how do you feel that it, it impacts the students? It actually helps them a lot. It goes beyond helping really because art is being taken away out of school now so when you guys bring this here it gives them hope it gives them a chance to really be free and open-minded you know thinking outside of the box is actually always a positive way to go so sending a positive message through their mindset and getting them to be influenced into community right right do you feel like there are any um, um, I guess uh, milestones that you as a past student and now a provider would like to see the school come to as it relates to art and creative processes and the experience that they bring for these kids? Yes, yes, I really would. My vision for that is to basically have them to accept and have an open view of what it is that art means and actually have the creative mindset to understand that it's not just something that we just do. It's not just something we just, you know, oh, we're just going to paint, or we're just going to draw just for today. There's people that really love this and take it seriously. So we're hoping that they see that. And what about the ones that don't necessarily think that they're artists <laughs> and they kind of shy away from it? What would you say to encourage some of those students? How do you think that it can encourage them? Um, you may not think that you're an artist, but deep down, everybody is actually truly an artist. Even if you're drawing stick figures, it's okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Art is a piece of you, so take that with you, and always remember who you are. And one last question. How do you feel that it helps them with the coping skills? How do you think that something like this, a program like this, would eventually help them with their coping skills and some of the challenges they face now in high school? Well, since art for me is usually like a getaway, you could take that, whenever you're stressed, you could take art as a mechanism for getting away. So when you're like really angry and down in yourself, and you feel like there's just no hope, you can just start painting or drawing or whatever you feel like doing at that time and use your creative mindset to take you to another world of peace. I love it. That's what Art Angels is all about. So Quintus, we really appreciate your involvement and your enthusiasm for the project and helping us out and uh, just giving us the feedback and most of all like we always say it always should be fun that's there's only three rules that we have and rule <laughs> the most important one is to have fun so thanks again and uh, signing out we'll be right back with some more interviews